Hey family, how y'all doing? I came to um, talk to you guys. Um, I wasn't going to put this out here like this, but um, I know I put it on my Facebook and everything. Um, and I told y'all before about my mother. I was going out there to California to spend some time with them. Well, I am. Um, I know I said in my of my ranting video, one of the videos I said I'm going to Hemet, California to, to spend some time with my sister in um, September, a little bit after September, but um, um, I will be going out there for a couple months, uh, spend some time with my sister, have her out, whatever, and she has a 13 year old son. But anyway, my mother is, I don't know if she has dementia or what's going on with her, but she had the same thing out here in Richmond. She, she going in and out, like her memory, whatever, if you know what dementia is. If you don't, you can look it up. I really don't know that much about it myself, but um, by talking with a couple of my friends here that's in that type of field at work, um... And the symptoms that she had when she was here in Richmond and if she can't tr she wants to come back to Richmond but she's not healthy enough to travel on a plane and on the buses and things like that so um, we're trying to we don't want to but for the type of help that my mom needs we want we want to have to put her in like a little home somewhere where they can help her it's gonna be somewhere in Hemet and anybody that's out there and California that knows a little bit about different agencies that take Medicaid patients that they can live there and they help them with nurse care and you know everything that she needs from bathing to taking her medicines and just giving her extra support that she needs that we can't give her because we don't know really that much about it you know um it just a, it takes a, a lot for the family to do that and it's just me and my sister right now my brother is in Jacksonville Florida um, and it's hard for us, us all trying to get things done as individuals and to go through this is kind of hard and I've been I've been the coach I've been the backbone for my brother and my sister right now because and I'm the only one without kids but um I've been telling them it's all right, you know, just be strong, and I, I don't want, I don't want them to get upset. So, I told the doctors anything that's going on with my mom health wise, tell, call me. But if you need my sister to come up there to bring clothes or whatever that my mom needs, you call my sister for that. Everything else she don't need to know. So, just keep praying for me, guys, that I'll be strong on that situation. Um. I, I, I'm, I don't I don't want to cry but I cried last night because I feel alone and there's no one to talk to when I need to you know I try not I try to be like the hard one you know um God allowed my my roommate came in here last night to apologize to me for what she has been doing to me on my circumstances she apologized to me and so I told her thank you and I accept her apology so like I said God will work everything out and I'm counting on him for all my all my health and strength for everything um, I'm going to the gym tomorrow I've been working out walking all this week and I'm so thankful of whoever is in my sisterhood group I love y'all keep pushing we doing this thing. I'm trying to get down 10 more pounds. <laughs> but, um, I'm trying to be strong. So, y'all just keep praying for me that I keep looking up to God. Because without Him, I'm nothing. Without Him, I won't be able to do the things that I do. And without Him, I could be somebody's cellmate. But, um, I thank God for keeping me strong. I thank God for keeping me with a will mind. The one to push myself. And knowing that I have people out there that love me. 
that's not near me, but they love me, you know. And I could contemplate many things. I think about my nephew, my sister's son. I love that boy a whole lot. I love him like he's mine. So me and my sister are close. So um, I love all my nephews. And I got one niece. She named after my mom, Sheila. She's out there in Jacksonville with my brother. So um, yeah, I just keep well. I just want to send y'all some blessings and want you all to just pray for me that I keep strong and be in the will of God and keep my mind on the right track. Don't let these ratchet ass people get to me. So um then have a good day. I'm about to say good night. So with that said